a class, the first of, of tentative many videos, lots of issues to go through. I'm going to forget them all, uh, go through them as I remember them. Um, a lot of information in here. Uh, this is the uh, first pass at recording videos. I recorded a bunch last year. I don't really remember what I did exactly. This is uh, one of many new learning experiences that I'll be going through and so let's uh, hang with it. So the second thing here is I am using Canvas. Uh, I am new to Canvas but I heard it was uh, better and more supportive of uh, things like online teaching so I, I actually made the switch. So uh, Cal Poly, big university, name school. I encourage you not to buy into the hype on this thing. Um, we are all working the hardest we can. Um, generally speaking, your hard work is rewarded, but not always. Um, but I encourage you not to let anyone or anything tweak you. Keep doing your best. I, I think uh, your hard work will certainly be acknowledged and rewarded. So don't let other people's position or their knowledge intimidate you. Um, you know, when someone knows something that you don't know, that's because they put the hard work in to learn that. And you're not any less because you don't know that. You're just at a different space. You know stuff that they don't know. Don't let people or things or positions or whatever intimidate you. Personal inflammation, I thought this would be useful. Um, so I grew up in a very white town. It was uh, the K through 12 was just pretty much boring, unchallenging. Um, so I kind of uh, floated off in other directions. So one of those directions was when I was 16, I, I became, I discovered music, became a musician, spent the next seven years working in a grocery store and working as a musician. And which is, as you'll see, one of the reasons I can't hear. Uh, so I started academia when I was 22. I came to Cal Poly when I was 25 in 1986, and I graduated when I was roughly 30 years old. So I, I always uh, act at me. There's always a ton of pressure at every level. I don't really understand it. Uh, it's really, um, I think it's more hurtful than helpful. I think um, people are always testing you in ac academia. They're always seeing if you're good enough when I really think they should be seeing, should be helping you. So lastly, I am I, I am a luthier. I'll call myself a luthier. I'll fix your violin, your viola, or your cello if you got it, and I'll re restring your bows if you got them. Not really, because it's going to be a busy quarter, but that's my outside life. So I'm going to pass out some student surveys, and there's a couple questions on it. I'd like you to fill those out, email them back to me. You don't have to fill them out. Just give me put a name on it. That's um, more than sufficient. Okay, so my only class that's a requirement here is that you learn the material after week 10, I guess. Week nine, I don't know. By the end of the class. So my teaching experience was, uh, and, and my student experience was I got really good grades, didn't learn anything. Um, I got really good at predicting what teachers would put on exams. I never really understood the material uh, initially, and I was really good at memorizing solutions. So that's not going to work in this class. I want you to learn the material. If you learn the material, you do good in the class. So the respect policy was uh, was the notion of in class. I left it here just for the hell of it. Was that uh, you know if you got to do something in class, like work on your phone or your computer, just do it. It's not a big deal. So cheating policy is completely out the door here being an online class you know the idea is to learn there's going to be ways to cheat I encourage you to put effort into learning rather than uh, working around learning so I, I still can't hear right it's really a problem online because the quality of the audio is pretty low um, I hope you all treat each other with respect um, I do want to have some online forums and um, hopefully people will be active in those be nice to each other and I, I left this in here just for the hell of it don't don't come to class if you're sick <laughs> okay so once again it's, a, it's an online course I'm completely new to it I really have no idea what I'm doing um, I, I've outlined my approach essentially it's try stuff 
get some feedback and modify it if necessary. So once again, my responsibilities are help students learn. I think I kind of knew what that was before, but it, now that it's online, it's completely different. And I need to assess how uh, students learn. So that's, you know, once again, online assessment, which is something I'll know more about uh, next week, but not so much now. So the big issue now is once again, is you've got to provide me with feedback. It's the only way this is going to work with any reasonable amount of quality. Give me feedback, please. Uh, so, like I said, I think we've gone through this. Um, the, um, the course, this is a new course. I'm still very uncomfortable with teaching this because there's really no viable um, as courseware material there are there are three books out there but they're not worth it I mean there some of the stuff helps but it's a lot of money and what I've been doing it's not it's not worth buying what I've been doing is trying to create a text last quarter I spent a ton of time creating learning resources and that's going to really help out this quarter I've been working solidly over the break here to get a viable book going we'll see how that goes so I plan on keeping it um, one week ahead of the course and kind of learn stuff as I go along since the online testing and assignments Zoom and no forums are are new to me. We'll see how it goes. So the state of the courseware is, um, let me adjust this here, the book is about 70% complete. Um, I plan, I mean it is missing exercises at the end of the chapters but that's, I, I'm not going to get to that. I do hope to have uh, do a brain dump on the rest of the 30% of the book so you can have something uh, when you get there. So I should be able to catch up as the weeks go by. Lab manual is 95% complete. I'll be uh, modifying stuff as I go along to make the stuff kind of online. And this is the first video, so uh, you know, by the time maybe you listen to this video, I'll have a, the first week of videos done. So once again, the plan here is um, probably every I don't know, Sunday or Monday, download the newest lab manual and the newest uh, text. Yeah, tentative day, tentative day in class. Um, they, I, I'll sign reading, I'll have videos, there'll be sample problems, um, you'll be working on lab assignments, and I do plan on having quizzes on Friday. So you should work through, should do the reading, watch the videos, work through the sample problems, do the labs, and um, do the quizzes. I don't know how else to say it. Okay, the Zoom hours, like I said, it's listed. Um, I'll be Zooming in for the class hours, and then there's some Zoom office hours also. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Big mystery? I don't know. I just don't know how this is going to work, but I'm dedicated to making it work. Uh, my plan is to be available and flexible, um, I think the key to making this work is kind of communication and which includes getting feedback from from all you listeners out there. Okay, so that's the first video done. We'll see how it goes. <laughs>